Hey, we are now less than a week away from the big game, and police are asking you to stay vigilant. Here's why. They say the Super Bowl leads to a spike in sex trafficking. Yeah, and public officials claim that the big game is one of the single biggest draws for the serious crime. Josh Sidorowicz verifies why experts say it's an issue that we should be focused on year-round. Beyond the bright lights of the nation's biggest annual sporting event, authorities for years have issued a dark warning, amping up ad campaigns and cracking down with sting operations like this one. The Super Bowl, they say, drives a surge in sex trafficking. We know that the Super Bowl will increase this activity. But let's verify. These are our sources, starting with Joan Reed. She's a criminology professor here on the University of South Florida St. Petersburg campus. She leads a research lab devoted to studying human trafficking. The research doesn't really support the idea that sex trafficking has a huge spike during the Super Bowl. Reed says she has studied hundreds of trafficking case files over the past 15 years. None have ever specifically mentioned the Super Bowl. Research from the Global Alliance Against Trafficking Women, a worldwide network of non-governmental organizations, found no empirical evidence that trafficking increases around large sporting events after studying crime records during the World Cup, Olympics, and the Super Bowl. Yes, hundreds of arrests have been made in host cities over the years, but Reed says it doesn't necessarily mean an increase in the actual crime. You're focusing that moment on that problem, and so you're gonna see it more. After the Super Bowl in Tampa last year, the Hillsborough County Sheriff announced 75 people have been arrested for trying to buy or sell sex. Three of those people were actually charged with trafficking, and here's something even the sheriff admitted. One thing we've learned is it's not just special events that create that, uh, that human trafficking. But it's not just the Super Bowl. No, no, not at all. Human trafficking is a problem 24-7. Unfortunately, especially in the state of Florida, Kim Overman, who chairs the Hillsborough County Trafficking Commission, says Florida and Tampa Bay rank high in the nation for hotline calls to report suspected trafficking. And the Super Bowl, she says, is a big platform to raise awareness. But no, it is not the single biggest draw for this crime. Research shows no significant spike in sex trafficking around the Super Bowl. Every weekend, every day, there's vulnerable kids and adults who are being exploited through sex trafficking. This can happen any given Sunday. It's not just the Super Bowl Sunday. I want to show you this right here. We have a resource on your screen. If you or someone you know is a victim of human trafficking, there's help out there. The National Human Trafficking Hotline is 24-7. That number on your screen. You can also text HELP to that number, 233-733, for resources.